Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. It's a beautiful day at Shanty Creek Resorts. Shanty Creek Resort, Schuss Village, the home of one of the Midwest's great ski hills. And guess what? It's Thanksgiving weekend, and the hills are already alive with skiers. A little bit later, mid-December, the other two resorts open up with Summit Mountain Skiing, with Cedar River Village's tubing, and there's a terrain park here, too, at Schuss Mountain. In addition to that, there's cross-country skiing from one resort to the other. There's lessons. There's everything you could possibly imagine for a great winter vacation here at Shanty Creek Resorts. Our favorite ski shop is the one here at Schuss Mountain. It's run by our friend Roger Jabara, who really can give you any kind of advice you want, not only on the skis, but on also the apparel that you need to ski in comfort. We're at the Schuss Mountain Ski Shop with the owner, Roger Jabara. And Roger, we're standing by a whole bunch of helmets here. And there's some that have some pretty cool uh, uh, designs on them. But I bet there's more to those helmets than design. Can you talk about that? Well, the safety issue is just huge now with all the litigations that have gone on in the past. And so now parents are really considering helmets before gloves almost. So right now, helmets for us are huge, but what really makes it easy for the kids and to be able to convince them that they need a helmet is all these goofy colored, different varieties and different designs of helmet covers that makes it fun for the kids. It's much easier to convince them that they need to have a helmet if they can get one of these. Most of these, uh, these are marker helmets, come with an adjustment on the back so the helmet will grow with the children. So it's not an investment for one year as fast as the kids grow. This is just a sample of the ladies' helmet. You can see that it's very, very pretty. But it also features a place for the ladies to stick their hair out. A ponytail hole is what it's called. And you wouldn't think it would be that huge of a, of a deal, but women, they have to get their hair out of the helmet, otherwise it's not going to fit properly and it's not going to protect them the way that it should. This is just a sample uh, of the helmets that are for the gentlemen. This even has speakers that are integrated right into the ear pad on the helmet, and this would just connect to your iPod, 
and away you go. So safety and style, you got it all with the helmets here at the Schuss Mountain Ski Shop. We're with Craig McClellan at the Schuss Mountain Ski Shop, and you really know a lot about what's going on with trends in skis. Can you tell us a little bit about what those trends are? Sure. Uh, yeah, the trend still is really trending more towards the shapely, shorter skis, uh, more side cut, larger radius, uh, allows for easier turns for beginners, especially uh, going out for their first times. Makes that turning so much easier, more stable, uh, friendlier, if you will, uh, to allow that beginner to go out and really just get a good run, get a good feel for how the ski can carve. And then it's for the advanced skier, the, the, the shorter turning radius is uh, quicker turns, um, more stability going down the hill, um, more edge hold, and then also the the great variance in the in the turning radius of the skis today really allow people to to really pick a ski to, to for their specific ski style. Craig, one of the things that I know is a little bit different is that skis are being made differently for women. Is that still happening? Uh, it is actually. Yeah, they they tend to put the uh, the flex point of the ski slightly ahead of center. Allows the ski to flex more easily for the ladies. They have a lower center of gravity. Um, allows them to pivot the ski easier. They actually they actually tend to make the ski about 15 to 20 percent lighter and softer flex overall too. Again, allowing for the the lighter ladies out there to initiate those turns even easier. We're with Mike Richards here at the Schuss Village Ski Shop, and we're going to talk about snowboard bindings, which I understand are really evolving. Uh, yes, they are evolving. Um, one of the new trends, uh, at least from Burton, has been that they're trying to uh, allow the board to flex uh, more naturally, similar to what the ski manufacturers have done. And they've come up with a new binding system that literally mounts with just two bolts onto this board and that allows for a really good feedback, uh, flexibility and uh, a much better ride for the rider. So it's something that's new and exciting with boards and it literally just mounts uh, to the snowboard through this channel. It's called the infinite channel system. Um, there are again two screws and it's on the board and you can infinitely adjust it to your stance or riding position. Um, just makes for a good overall ride for uh, any snowboarder. So does it make it safer or faster or easier to do tricks or what? Um, not necessarily safer or faster, but by having the uh, binding more uh, readily or the board more readily flexible, uh, it allows you to get better feedback through the board so it, uh, better carving, uh, better control. So in some aspects it, it could enhance that. Mm -hmm.